these are the steps to calculate molarity. The first thing, you have to calculate the number of moles of solute present. If they give you the mass, you can calculate the number of moles using the molar mass. In the second step, we are going to express the solution in liters if it's not so before. Um, liters are equivalent numerically with decimeter cube, so we can express that in decimeter cube as well. If we have centimeters cube or milliliters, we should divide by 1000 to get the value in liters or decimeter cube. And after we have one and two, we can apply the formula by dividing the number of moles divided by the volume in liters. So now we are going to see three examples of these with different type of data in each one. In this case, the solution has 2.4 moles and the volume of the solution is 3 liters. So the number of moles is 2.4. The volume is going to be 3 liters or equivalent to 3 decimeters cube. So the molarity is the number of moles divided by the volume in decimeters cube of liters, which is going to be 2.4 moles of solute over 3 decimeters cube. That is going to be 0 0.8 molar. So this is how we uh, resolve these exercises. In the next exercise, you are going to know how to pass from grams to moles or from milliliters to decimeter cube. In this second example, we have eight uh, grams of sodium hydroxide that we can pass to moles. So eight grams of sodium hydroxide, we know that one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. That means the number of moles of sodium hydroxide then is 0 0.2. The second one is the volume in decimeters cube is already given, 2 liters, so we don't need to do anything because 2 liters is equal to 2 decimeters cube, it's equivalent. And number 3 is calculating the molarity, which is going to be 0 0.2 moles of sodium hydroxide into decimeters cube. This is going to be 0 0.1 molar of sodium hydroxide. So this is our answer for example number two. In the third example, example number three, we have 25 milliliters of a solution. Uh, so that is going to be the volume of the solution. The one is calculate the number of moles of copper sulfate and 1.5 grams of copper sulfate anhydrous that is going to be one mole equivalent and 150 grams actually is 149.5 but we can do as 150 so the number of moles is 0. 0.01 of copper moles of copper sulfate present. The second one is to pass 25 milliliters, 25 milliliters, to decimeters cube or liters. I know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, so the volume is 0 0.025 
liters and the third one is going to be calculating the molarity which is going to be 0 0.01 mole of copper sulfate divided by 0 0.025 <clears throat> liters of solution so the molarity is going to be 0 0.4 molar of copper sulfate and that is going to be the answer for our next and last example.